I didn't know it was gonna be so much fun. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Okay, so just finished up at the Morrow County Barn and uh, we're gonna go out towards the Marion County Barn. Well, we're not gonna go towards it, we're gonna go to it. Uh, <laughs> says it's about 25 minutes away. It's a big white Bob Evans. Um, you know what the Bob Evans barn looks like. I just, that's how I describe them. Big white Bob Evans, if it looks like that. It's in Waldo, Ohio. Number 80, Marion County. Okay. Let's hit the road. Look out, here she comes. The woman that I love. It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing her How I feel for her she won't feel the same for me I've got this picture in my mind It's just the two of us Just the two of us But I know I have to try Try to let her go Because she won't be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know that I love her so well She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go She will never know, na na Never know, na na She will never know, na na Never know That looked like an abandoned house back there. That would be cool to go film that, but I don't know. I don't like filming abandoned houses just because you never know if there's somebody like squatting in them or, or really if they're abandoned or if it's just people living there who don't care for their house. So we will skip that one today. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna find anything else interesting along this trip though because uh, I think we're only about 10 minutes from this barn. I believe it was only 25 minutes in the beginning, what I said, um, from the other barn that we just filmed. And uh, I mean, it's been totally uneventful along this trip so far. And that's how it is sometimes out here. You know, barns aren't built in the city where things are happening. So. Sometimes we get to find cool things out on the road here, and, and sometimes it's just nothing but country roads. It's fun to drive those roads. You know, it's peaceful, it's kind of quiet. You get the time to yourself to just think and, you know. But as far as uh, finding something interesting to film, sometimes it's just not there. I just saw a lightning. This might be the last barn I filmed today. We're turning left up here, and it is a big white Bob Evans. We can always make it through. What we do 
is what we do I can take you anywhere Somewhere We won't be scared You will see me fly night I'm staring into your blue eyes We don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too Okay guys, here we are again with a discrepancy. It says I have reached my destination and there is no Bicentennial Barn anywhere in sight. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research here, check my address and whatever. And uh, right now I'm pulled over at Del Mar Distributing. That's certainly not it. <laughs> well, I mean, it was kind of thrown off back there when the GPS told me to turn left and Marion was pointing right. So I don't know. I don't know if this is a one-way street right here. I don't think so. I think we're just going to backtrack and where we turn left, we'll just go straight into Marion. If it doesn't get us anywhere... We'll come back out here and see what we can figure out. But this right here is where it said you've reached your destination. And no, we haven't. <laughs> All right, Marion County, 333 Ohio 47 in Waldo. I'm looking at the sign that told us to go left in the prospect where you turn right to go into Marion, but Right is 423, left is uh, 47. So we're gonna go back down that way and just pay a little bit more attention to some uh, some house numbers, I guess. Let's see if we can find 333. There's Waldo's Dairy Bar. <laughs> Why am I not seeing? 165, all right, yeah. The numbers are going down, down this way. So we definitely gotta turn around. And we're going through another cemetery. <laughs> Doesn't really look like there's anything special about this one though. And I mean, that might come across a little disrespectful. I don't mean it that way. We're just gonna run through here, and turn around and go back the other way. The numbers were going down. So, yeah, to turn left, it started at like 265 or something, and then the numbers were going down from there. So it only makes sense to go the opposite direction, even though it said that was 423 or something. We'll figure it out. Yeah, there's the last house right there, and it's 235. So it's gotta be up here just a little bit. I mean, there's a barn right there, but it's red. Unless that's it and it's been repainted. 279, up here a little bit yet. Okay, these numbers got way crazy out here. They all of a sudden jumped to the 5,000s. So I'm gonna find somewhere to turn around. We're going back to Waldo's to find out where this thing is. This is kind of interesting though, coming up here on the left. This small cemetery. We'll pull in here to turn around and check it out quick. Unless there's more uh, headstones over the hill there, it looks like there's only like 10. Pretty neat looking though, let's check it out. Look at this, it's kind of spooky. Definitely an older one. Yeah, there's a few of them over the little hill here. But look at this, it's just surrounded by a cornfield all the way around. That's really interesting. Uh, 
died 1844, 1845. Wow. I can't even read that one. These would be really cool to come out here and do a, uh, like a rubbing, you know, where you put paper over and you use a crayon on its side and you just rub it like that and then you can read what it says because these you can't see anything on just a little bit oh geez look at this one that's really worn that's a 1845 1850 Yeah, I wonder if this would happen to be like family that owned this land or something. That's pretty interesting just to see that, that very small cemetery right there. Smack dab in the middle of all these rolling cornfields. See, that's what I'm talking about. You never know what you're going to find when you're out here on these barn hunts. That's pretty interesting. All right, if we find this barn before it starts thunderstorming, I'll be amazed. Let's go on down to Waldo's or whatever that was called. See if they can tell us where to go. All right, guys, here it is. Waldo Dairy Bar. Let's go on over here and see if they can tell us where we are going. The, uh, the people over there eating at Waldo's, they told me that apparently I just didn't go far enough down there when I pulled into that, I don't know, distribution center or whatever it was. So we're going to head back down that way. Um, you know, like I said before, this is what happens sometimes. The GPS isn't always right. And the addresses you get, you know, I don't know if sometimes addresses change or streets change or what it is, but uh, apparently it's right down here past that place where I pulled in. And from there, I'm on my own. <laughs> so let's head back out and see what we can find. I'm not giving up till we find this barn. Okay, here is where it said we had reached our destination, which we obviously had not. So let's keep on going. The guy said it was uh, 47 was, okay, I see 47 takes a right here right past the place I pulled into. I should have seen that when we first got up here. Okay, here it is, guys. Here it comes. Right up on the left. <laughs> Look at this, guys. We got a couple of enormous dogs. Uh, this will be interesting. Hey, pups. Hey, pups. Okay, I wonder if somebody would just come out. Look at these things. <laughs> I don't know if I should get out or not, man. I wish somebody would just come out. Hey, pups. I like you. You don't want to ever trust a dog. Oh boy. Okay. Hey friend. Hi. <laughs> if I get bit filming a barn. I think it's okay, pups. Look at these giant things. Thank you for being good to me, pups. Okay, well, nobody is answering the door. Nobody is coming out. There are three cars here. So I don't know what the deal is, but we got to get some pictures of this barn. So I don't know if I have to go down the street and park somewhere else or what. They don't have big dogs for no reason, so. Thank you for being good to me, Popstairs. All right, well, we're just gonna step out here on the street and get a picture of this barn real quick. There it is. 
Let's get out of Dodge. Okay, well, that was kind of a bummer, but, uh, but we got pictures of it, and those dogs were hilarious. They were, they were jumping right up on the car. They were pretty nice, though. I'm glad I didn't get mauled to death. So, there it is. Marion County Bicentennial Barn. On to the next. <laughs>